Hi, welcome to this video where I'm going to show you the end-to-end -end process of getting a screen capture of your rocket simulation, editing it, and then posting it on YouTube. Okay, so to start off with, um, in the first tool in our chain is something to capture the video. And what I use is a program called OBS. Uh, it's an open source program. It's very well supported, very simple to use, lots of tutorials on it. Um, install that, get that working, and that will record what's going on on the screen. You can use whatever screen capture stuff you like. This is what I tend to use. Okay, and let's get our rocket simulation up. And what we want to do is just record um, a bit of action from the rocket. So you may want to record it full screen, or if you want to show people what's going on with the sliders, you can um, you can record it with the in the editor mode or with the stuff on the side. I've clicked start recording on the screen capture software OBS, and I'm going to run the simulation. Okay, rocket runs for a bit, that's enough, got what we want. Stop the simulation, stop the recording. Okay, so that's captured the video. Um, now what we have to do is um, see if we can put it together in some sort of edited um, format. And we're gonna use Shotcut for that. Okay, so I've just opened up Shotcut. It's asked me if I want to open a recent project or a new one. I'm going to create a new project. So that's fine, the folder it's found for that. And I give it a name, Rocket Design Demo Video. And pretty much the standards formats are absolutely fine. You can use whatever it suggests. Okay, start. Okay, we started a new project. We now need to upload the video that we just recorded. And what we do for that is do open file. So this is actually opening a media file now. And it's immediately gone to my videos folder. And actually this is where OBS stores its videos. So that's fine. You may find that it's stored somewhere else. So there's always that thing where you have to try and find out where one bit of software has stored your video. Uh, generally OBS records to your videos folder. So I look in there and the one I recorded just earlier was done around, it was done today, and it was done around 10 past nine. So that's the file. Okay, it brings it in. So that's the thing we just recorded. And this is previewing the file. This area down the bottom is where we're gonna create our video. So to start off with, if it's not already there, you have to do add video track. And when you've done that, you can drag your video in there and then it goes. Okay, so some quick things to, to know about uh, Shotcut. Um, it, it's fairly self-obvious that you can sort of stretch and move these tra these clips along here. Some of these button buttons are a bit confusing. The, the magnet one is like of a snap thing, so it kind of snaps the cursor to the uh, end of a file, which is kind of useful. Uh, this one, ripple, trim and drop, means that if you delete something here, it shuffles them all along. So that's really good when you will delete a hole. It's not good if you've got a number of parallel video tracks and they all get out of sync. Um, if you do have a number of parallel tracks, this button here, ripple, trim across all tracks, means that if you pull something out, it keeps everything lined up. So if you find yourself getting into a mess with things getting out of sync, it may be because you've got one of these buttons pressed and things are moving in and out. Okay, that's our video there. Um, if you notice, there's some audio in the background. That's just because of default, you recorded the mic on the PC. We don't actually want that. So what I'm going to do is detach audio. And I'm going to delete that because we don't want the background noise on that. Okay, um, what else do we want? Let's have a title screen. So the quickest way of doing a title screen is to do slightly bizarre, but you do open other color. And if you just do a black color that just puts a black sort of slide in and we can put that in um, so that now is a just a black bit of video with nothing in it and if we want to put a title on it what we want to do is put some text and the the way these are referred to of putting things or changing things are known as filters so it's slightly odd but to put text on you actually have to do a filter uh, and if you do add a filter and then search for text and what we want to use is text simple 
and it starts off with a time code in there. I no idea why it does that. We can delete that, and then we can just give it a title: My Rocket Video. And we can put it in the middle, and then we can grab these handles and move it around. Put something else underneath it. We want to put the date third of the second two, and you can do whatever you like with that. So that's now made a title and put it on there and if we play the video now on the timeline so drag this across we can see that we've got our title in and it'll go blank and then the video will start okay so we need to do a bit of editing so what we need to do is find out where the actual interesting bit starts in the clip and it's about there and there's a number of ways of doing this. The one way is to actually split the clip where you want it. So if you just do S, it splits it. And you can delete that bit of the clip. The other way of doing it um, is to uh, move the starter. You can actually sort of shift the clip, the clip by dragging it. So it's slightly weird doing this, but you can drag it across and eventually you'll see the bit where you want to start. And then same at the end. Um, if you want to get rid of the bit at the end, you can just drag it in. Okay, and we want to remove the um, the gap in there. Okay, that's looking good. Let's do a fade in. So the little thing appears there, and we can drag that. Same here, little thing appears there. We can do a fade in. We've got our um, intro. Okay, so now if we want now an audio track, we're going to do open file and find something that's got a soundtrack in it um, so it's a fairly random thing here magical journey let's just try that no idea what it is that's that one that's nice okay so we're just going to drag that in into there and we need to stop it here so I'm going to do select that track S splits it we can delete all of that Let's fade out the sound. Won't bother fading in. That's it. Save it and quickly preview. Okay, that'll do. So if that's our video, we now need to export it. Um, so click on export there, export file. It'll ask you for a name. Uh, Exporting to my video files directory again, that's fine. I'll leave it with the suggested name. And up in this little window, you can see jobs, and this is what it's trundling through doing it. It's pretty quick for small videos, so that took six seconds. Okay, we're good, we've made a video. Uh, let's, let's post that on YouTube. So if we get to YouTube and then create, upload video, you, you'll need a, a YouTube account where you can actually upload things. But anyway, if we do select files, uh, we're on videos again. This is the one I've just done, rocket design video. It's going in, you can tell people about it. Um, I'm not gonna put it on a playlist. No, it's not made for kids. Next, next, checks, private. We're not gonna make this one share it with anybody else. Here it goes, checking, add description, play on YouTube. Okay, brilliant. So, John's a good one. So you've now, um, quickly seen how you capture video from the rocket simulation, bring it into Shotcut to edit it to make a video and export it from Shotcut and then upload it to YouTube. So hopefully that's a quick start on how you can do that. Obviously there's lots of details I've skipped over in doing this, uh, but if you go to the Shotcut website, um, there's lots of other tutorials for helping you. And same with OBS as screen capture. If you're, if you're struggling with that, they've got some good tutorials on that. Okay, best of luck with making your videos.